Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. So today we're going to look at the Elf Camel Powder Foundation. Now, this month is my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. So pretty exciting. But one of my very first videos that I ever did was reviewing the Elf Camel CC Cream. Now, you probably shouldn't watch that video because it's probably pretty bad. But it's pretty fitting that one year later, I am reviewing the Elf Camel Powder Foundation. So this is a lightweight powder that is finely milled and it is supposed to give you an airbrushed finish. So if you wanna see how this powder applies, how it looks all day long, and if it's something you should get or not, then first make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and then sit on back, relax, have a laugh, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, here we go. Now, my biggest question with using powder foundation is, can you use primer with it? Because I feel like if you use primer and it's too sticky, the powder's just gonna go and stick to your face and it's not gonna spread around. So it's like, oh, what do I do? Do I just go without primer? But I'm like, oh, I'm so conditioned and so used to putting primer on that I just don't know if I can go without. But this powder is primer infused. So there we go. I don't need to worry about it. It has primer built into it. And so if you wear this, it's supposed to last all day long because of that primer infused powder. So this is going to cost you $11 and it comes in 12 shades. And I am in the shade 150 Fair. All right, so I'm going to use the little applicator that comes with it. And this foundation is supposed to camouflage your imperfections and even out your skin tone. So putting it on your face, it feels really smooth and really soft. Now today is solo ensemble day for my son. He has a trombone duet and a piano solo. Now, a few years back, I accompanied him on the piano while he played his trombone solo and I was so nervous. I was more nervous than him because I do not like always performing in front of people while I play the piano. So I'm up there Dar, and he's just playing away and it gets no big deal and I was a nervous wreck. But the other thing was is if my hands are cold and my ring is spinning, I can't stand it. So of course that day my hands were freezing and so the ring was spinning. So I took it off and I set it right on the piano. And guess what happened? I forgot my ring there. So we get done and I was just like, oh, so glad to be done. And I just wanted to get out of there. And so we left. And there sat that wedding ring. Ah. So probably a good hour passed. And it was time to leave. And we actually saw somebody there we knew. And... I was talking about my performance and then all of a sudden I was like, my wedding ring, I forgot my wedding ring on the piano. So I had to go running back and then I had to sit there and wait till other kids got done playing. And luckily that ring was still there. Oh, I don't know what I would have done if I lost my wedding ring, I'd be so sad. Have you guys ever lost? Or left your wedding ring somewhere. All right. So again, feels really soft on the face. It's just gliding right over my skin. All right, there it is. So I would say that this looks very natural and it's not cakey at all. So, so far so good. But let's see how it's gonna handle and look throughout the day. All right, check-in number one. We are now at Solo Ensemble, and this has been on for three hours. So still looking good, looks natural, looks smooth. I'm liking it so far. So I'm gonna brag a little bit about my boy here. He got a score of one, which is the top rating on his duet here, 
and on his piano solo. And luckily, what happened at his band concert a few nights before this did not happen at solo ensemble. So at his band concert, he went to go move his music and oh no, both sheets fell. Everyone's clapping, thinking it's over. And he's like, no, 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 it's not over yet. So good thing that did not happen at solo ensemble. All right, we are on check-in number two. It has now been on my face <laughs> for 10 hours. I am with my mini-me, and we are going to run some errands. Oh, Who's there? Howell. Huh? Howell. Howell? Yeah. Howell who? All right, still looking natural, still looking smooth, so a-okay after 10 hours. So we went and ate at the mall, and look what I found in my food! A hair! So I picked the hair out, and I thought, okay, I'll just eat it. No, I pretty much lost my whole entire appetite after seeing this hair. So here is the last check-in. This is the 14-hour mark and I would say it's faded off my skin quite a bit. And to see how much it's faded, let's compare the three hour mark, which is on the left, versus the 14 hour mark on the right. So you can see here that it has faded off my skin. So while this foundation is nice, it is definitely not going to be my everyday foundation, nor turn into my favorite foundation. So it is good, and I would say if you are interested in trying it out, give it a whirl. But it is also one that I would say you don't absolutely need it in your collection. Well, thank you for watching this video, and as always, have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!